The opening of Smarter Planet marks the latest in a series of successful exhibits and interventions. IBM has been involved as an active sponsor and exhibitor at Intervention since its opening in 1994. Very in appreciation for your long-standing sponsorship at Epcot and recognition of the hard work and dedication your team has shown in bringing Smarter Planet exhibit to life. We'd like to present a token of thanks. Let's do it. One, two, three. Smarter Planet! choice between voting on a series of Smarter Planet related questions or you can actually play sort of a match memory game that's about Smarter Planet. But what we'll do is we'll start off with a poll. And this question asks, what are the biggest challenges facing the planet today? So if you're a parent, this is a great opportunity with your child to talk about, hey, what's happening in the world today? Is it issues around uh, water use or pollution, things like that? And we can just sort of pick, we're just going to sort of pick a uh, few of these at, uh, at, 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 at the random here. And you submit those responses and you go through a few more. But then this is the most uh, important part of it. So we can view everyone's responses. And what happens is all these answers come together into a picture made up of words, sort of like a word cloud. This is actually back, uh, backed up with um, a technology called Many Eyes. So if you look at this picture visually, you can sort of see how others have come through the exhibit have described what they think are the most important, either in terms of the, uh, the issues themselves or who will be playing uh, a key role in resolving them. Okay, so, so now we're here at a part of the exhibit that I think is really going to be a highlight, and it's called Runtime. The Walt Disney Imagineers, uh, working, working with IBM, have created uh, an interactive experience here where you can become the avatar of your own video game. And it starts off when you come to a booth like this, and uh, we take some video of you that's then inserted into an actual video game. And the video game tracks the history of technology over the last hundred years. So it's a good example of where we're trying to weave in some fun elements as well as some educational elements, and in this case, the history of technology. Uh, but instead of Mario in your video game, it's actually yourself who's jumping and working through the various obstacles, so it's a lot of fun. And afterwards, you can email it to yourself at home and play it at your home as well. <laughs> 